In this demonstration, you'll learn about the post-processing of a transient blade row problem using the derived and solved variable modes in CFT Post. The Construct Variables from Fourier Coefficient selection controls the reading of Fourier coefficients from the results of transient blade row cases. When this option is selected, CFD Post reads Fourier coefficient data from the results, thereby making it possible to apply data instancing. As well, when this option is not selected, only solved results are available for post-processing. To ensure that the Fourier reconstruction is a good approximation for the instantaneous solved variables, I want to post-process both the derived and solved variables for the same results file. To do this, I'll use the Keep Current Cases Loaded option and load the results twice, once with the Construct Variables from Fourier Coefficients option selected, and once with that option not selected. First, I'll load a results file into CFD Post. To enable the Derive Variables, or FCC, mode, I'll select Construct Variables from Fourier Coefficients from the dialog box. In the Derived Variables mode, Fourier Coefficients for the main period and harmonics are stored at each node, and CFD Post reconstructs the temporal scalar data based on the Fourier Coefficients. Now, I can load the file again in the Solve Variables, or RAW, mode. In the Solved Variables mode, Instantaneous variable values are loaded. These are not reconstructed from Fourier coefficients. Here, I'll select the Keep Current Cases Loaded option. Now that both cases are loaded, it's a good idea to turn on camera synchronization between the two viewers for easy comparison. A turbo service must be made for making plots. I'll call this surface Span 50. A vector can be plotted on span 50 by specifying the vector's location, like so. The vector plot shows velocity values corresponding to the end of a common period. You'll notice that these plots are nearly identical in both modes. This demonstrates that the velocity time data was accurately recreated by the Fourier approximation. I'm going to insert a contour plot to monitor the density on the surface of each blade, the density variable tends to be less accurately approximated and is a good test for consistency between each mode. Now I can turn off the visibility of vector plot 1. Here you can see a slight inconsistency between the two modes. However, the data is still well approximated by CFD. This tactic works well to determine whether CFD has recreated the data at a reasonable level of accuracy. To further demonstrate the difference between solved and derived modes, I will add an expression and define it as axial force. Next, I can create a variable time chart. I'll insert a chart which will display the force on the rotor blade as a function of time. Note that only the case loaded in the derived variables mode produces results at each time step. This is because the solved variables mode only contains data pertaining to the last time step. This concludes this demonstration of the solved and derived variable modes in CFD Post.